hey developers welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn how to create a pagination in laravel vue.js okay so now guys let's get started so guys before getting started if you have not created your crud application please watch out this video link given in the description so you can follow this complete crud operation like add and uh, edit list show delete so now guys let's get started with making the pagination part so right now here i have three records i just want to paginate each of the record okay so now guys let's get back on this route so let's move to our editor and imagine you have created your crud application now let's go to web.php and here is our products route okay which goes to the product controller so let's go inside that product controller and here is the index function guys so in this index function you see that we are getting the products record using the get method okay which is without pagination here and you can see this this variable products is used inside the blade file i mean view file and this products variable we are looping and displaying the data which is shown here okay so now guys uh, get back and go to your product controller again and here instead of get let's use paginate p a g i n a t e paginate of one okay so here i want to paginate each record so now guys let us copy this variable and get back to your index blade and now what happens you see let me just get back refresh so here you see uh, it's a blank page so which means it's giving an error let me just inspect and go to the console log so let me zoom it and here you see guys that invalid prop check failed for the products expected array got an object so which means it's telling that this product should be array but it got an object something like this it's mentioning here okay so guys let us just uh, copy this and paste above before the table okay and just print like that in double curly brace and you can just comment for now so i have commented the table row and now let's refresh here so guys here is the response and in this response you are getting a different type of data like the current page then data and then coming to the pagination part okay so guys now we will copy this data get back and uncomment the code okay so i will uncomment it and now instead of products products dot data you have to loop it now let us save now get back so here you see you have got the details perfect so here guys why it is only one record it's because we have mentioned only uh, loop the data only once so paginate of one let me just make it to two so you will see that it will have two records perfect and next the pagination you have to add so guys here you see again the warning comes here let me just go back to the index view so in the script part here is your products so instead of array let's make it to object that's it so if you are getting an object or an array both so you can just add an array and mention that you will get the response as array or object any one you will be getting so now your warning goes so now guys let's get started with creating the pagination part yep let's move and let me just comment this code okay so we do not require right now yep now after this table i want to create the pagination so guys i don't want to write the complete code for pagination in a single page so let's create a separate component and include that here okay so it can be used in further components so first we'll be creating the pagination and the component so let me just go to the components right click new file pagination dot view and a simple setup of template and script guys script with setup done so now let's get back to our index page and now guys let us uh, just let me add a class here margin top 4 and also we need to pass a props okay so for example we will pass the props as links 
equal to which is going to be in a colon and here your products variable dot links links okay and now guys you need to uh, import this pagination let me import import pagination from where at forward slash your components forward slash pagination pagination dot view file okay let's go to component pagination and now let's uh, write the code here like define props open and close bracket and inside that the curly brace and now what props you are getting it's basically a links okay so just copy this links and get so this link will be coming in a form of array okay and now let us write the code open and close div user if condition your links dot length greater than zero then show so this link is basically your props guys so now let's open the div again add a class flex flex wrap wrap minus margin bottom one open a template tag and use a v4 v4 equal to use the links in links okay so here will be link comma link index and the key equal to the link index should be given here open a div open and close div break it user if condition v if link dot url triple equal to null okay so if it is null show the data here so instead of showing data directly we will use html to show the link dot label okay and also guys you can just margin write one one px4 py3 text small leading hyphen four for the text design text color text gray which will be 400 a simple border and it should be rounded okay so now inside the template add a link open and close link okay so in this link you have to show the data the same part okay and here let me break it v else so this will be the condition guys if it is a if then else you can use the class so let me just copy this same and paste here and on hover background should be white and also just remove this gray part and add some focus guys on this let me break this down here we add a focus colon border indigo hyphen 500 in line hyphen block focus colon text hyphen indigo of 500 and also guys let's add a class with some condition here open and close curly brace in single quotes bg hyphen blue of 700 and text should be white colon when link dot active not class active okay and now guys once you click on this link it should redirect to href equal to where link dot url if you are using this link please import its class i mean the path link from at at inertia js view 3 let's save it and now guys let us see the output let's get back refresh perfect so here you see the previous and next and this is the design guys so let's click on two and here you see it's working fine okay so you have got this first record second record cool so guys if you want to just move this at the end you can add a simple class let's go on the index open close div and float end 
let's save and here it goes okay and on this hover guys it see uh, the text is going so you can just add that color so let me just on hover it is bg white so instead of y white let's make it to gray of like 200 and also the text should be gray of 900 or let's make it to 7 on hover okay so when hovers the text should be gray of 700 so here you see it works fine perfect so guys we have successfully learned how to create a pagination in laravel and vue.js crud application okay so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share